Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Coding with T. Today we are going to learn how to create, how to perform Google sign in authentication inside our Flutter application using Firebase. Okay, as you can see, we are creating Flutter login application for a quick start of any application which requires login. So instead of wasting time or spending some time on the login sign up, you can directly download this code and start creating your application. So we have completed the design portion. We have completed also email authentication, phone number authentication, also created a complete CRUD for the Firestore. And today we're going to talk about the Google sign-in. So without wasting time, let's get started. So if you're new, uh, please subscribe the channel and you can get the videos link in the description or the playlist link in the description. And also you can get the complete code from the codingmitty.com or I will drop the link down below in the description. So without wasting time, let's get started. Open Android Studio. So we are inside our project. We created for login application and inside the menu bar, you can see the documentation. If you download the code and you want to read the documentation because I am keep on updating this application wherever it requires. So you can read anything change inside the readme file, which is down below over here. Okay, so for now, let's head back to authentication. Here we want to perform our Google sign in and down below I have already created sign in with Google method. So first of all, the first thing we need to do before coding, we have to make sure that everything is ready for Google sign in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to open your project, Firebase project and go to Firebase console. If you don't know how to create a Firebase project, we have already learned and we have already created inside the series, you can again get the link in the description. So you have to go to the authentications and inside head toward the sign in method and add a new provider. Click on Google. I have already enabled it. So once you enabled, you don't have to change anything over there and click on save. It will enable this Google sign in. So once enabled over here, when we open it, when we see, we can see that it's saying that automatically configured everything for Apple and web apps. To set up Google sign in for Android apps, you need to add SHA one fingerprint for each app on your project settings. So how we can do that? We have already learned to add SHAs inside our phone authentication tutorial, but let's do it again. Click on this gear and go to project settings in here. Down below, you can see by selecting Android, we have SHA certificates and we need to add SHA certificates over here. So how we can add them? To add those certificates, you have to open your Explorer, File Explorer, and you have to go to your Windows inside the users go to the main user and uh, search for the file dot android open it and inside you can see we have a file debug dot key store so this is the file which contains SHA certificates now we want to enable open it if you want to open it right click open in a terminal so you can see currently we are pointing towards the same directory which in which we want to run our command and I have all the commands over here for the Mac, Windows and Linux. So currently we're talking about the Windows. So I'll drop all these commands in the description or you can get it from the coding with T. We just have to copy this. Make sure you are targeting the complete path. Over here, you have to write your own username. So currently my user is this one. So I will not copy this Windows, but start it from the key tool and till Android over here, paste it. And you can see we are targeting C users, this user dot Android. And we are also targeting the same directory. So let's hit enter and it's going to give us two type of certificates SHA1 and SHA256. Only SHA1 is enough I guess uh, but we can add both and new fingerprint paste the SHA it will automatically detect which one it is save it. Let's copy the second one add fingerprint paste it and now it's detected the other one let's save. So now I had two devices that's why this was the this was for the first one. This is now the for the second one. Okay, the second step to add SHAs have been completed. Now the third one is we need to package, which is this Google sign-in package in the pub.dev. Simply copy it, open application, go to pubspec.yaml file, and inside you have to paste this Google sign-in like this. Click on this pub get to get the latest dependencies. Close the pubspec.yaml file, let it load. Okay, while uh, that's loading, we have to go to the Firebase documentation and search for the Flutter. Inside the build, we have to go for authentication, Flutter and federated identity. And inside, first one is the Google documentation, Google sign in documentation, and we already added SHAs. So we don't have to do anything else for the iOS and Android. We have already added 
or install the package. Now we want to run the code. So this is the code that we want to use in our application. We have created a function. The first thing we need to use is this import package. So we will import it in a minute. Let's copy the whole code from here. Let's go to our application and inside this function that we have created, paste the code and it's automatically imported the files this is the file which we need to import google sign in okay once it's imported uh, we don't have to do anything with our authentication if you're following the series you remember that we use this authentication to keep the user logged in and logged out and we're not going to do with this sign in because over here at the bottom you can see when we're going to let the user log in using google we are basically converting this login to firebase authentication so we are already handling the firebase authentication so we don't need to do anything for the facebook for the google or any other federated identity okay so let's see what this code is doing the first line which is already saying that triggering the authentication flow this is going to let the application pop up the interface which is going to have all the emails of the user and when user is going to select the specific email it is going to trigger this line and try to collect the data of the user so once it has the data collected from the user it will convert all the data to credentials so that it can tell the firebase that okay firebase authentication here is the credentials please let the user to sign in okay so that's it let me just also try to wrap it with a try catch that we are already following it's a best practice in the previous tutorials we have already done it with this firebase email verification so let's just paste it over here we are handling the firebase auth exceptions which is the generic exceptions and also we want to catch the errors right let's paste our code over here control alt to align the code okay in here you can see we are basically throwing the exceptions this means that whenever we are going to call this sign in method it is we need to handle the exceptions in that function so now we'll head back to features authentication and go to controllers go to login controller and inside previously we were using the email and password login using this and now this time we're going to use google sign in so i've already created a function which is a google sign in function it is just again remember that i talked about the try catch we are handling try and catch whatever the error it is we are just trying the error using some helper classes i have created a helper class with some generic type of designs of snack bar so just passing the designs over here so one more thing that you have to note over here that if you want to add a loader you created a variable inside our login controller which is observable so inside our function when this function starts loading we will make the value to true google loading is equal to true and when it's done it should be false and if it throws some error again it should be false means stop loading and inside our design if we go to our design where the social button is created social means that wherever your google button is created i have added a loader effect a custom social button which is this button which is a simple button as a size box to make it full width elevated button with icon so which icon we want to show we want to show image which is the google image we are currently displaying and when it is loading we don't want to show any image and again when it is loading when is loading is equal to true we should uh, we want to show the button loading widget which is again a simple row which is a circular progress indicator and a text so you can directly display whatever you want and if it is not loading then want to display the simple text of this button so this is the social button i have created the past image which is a google logo background color foreground color we have a text and over here we are passing the is loading so inside our controller we have variable is loading is google loading dot value if it is true returning the true if it is false returning the false you can directly pass this and we actually don't need this but just for the understanding and again in the on press we don't want to let the user to press while facebook loader is loading or while simple loader is loading for the email and password so if any of them is loading we want the on press to be null not clickable and if none of them is loading then we want to make sure that if google is loading then again it's not again clickable and if it's not loading let's go to google sign in when the user is going to click on this google sign in it will start loading call this authentication sign in method which is performing google sign in operations handling all the errors so let's try to run the application let's see what we got 
Okay, so our application is running. Let's click on login. And this is the button that I was talking about. You can see the background color, the foreground color, and this is the icon. Now when we're going to click on it, loader is loading and we have our pop-up. So now inside we have a bunch of emails. Let's click on maybe the first one email. Let's wait for it. Loader is still loading and we are successfully logged in currently, but there is no status that we, we are currently logged in, but we are not letting the screen to be switched. So for that, okay, if you watch the previous video to switch the screen, we have already created the manual method, which is the set initial screen in which we are checking that if user is null, then we want to show the welcome screen. If user is email verified, then we want to let the user to go to the dashboard. And if email is not verified, we let the user to go to mail verification so now we want to call this function inside our google sign in so when authentication is completed over here we want to call authentication repository dot instance dot set initial screen and we want to pass the user inside it so we are repeating the authentication repository so let's create authentication repository at the top use this authentication and again this authentication and for the user we have already user inside authentication dot firebase user so this is again inside the authentication firebase user dot value so this is passed now let's try to run it again user is currently logged in so now this time we should not see the login screen and we see the dashboard so let's try it again let's click on the logout button but we have not implemented our logout so let's again go to authentication repository down below we have a logout function and inside you can see i have added google sign in dot sign out if you want to use facebook then again for the facebook instance dot logout and for the simple one we have firebase auth dot logout and if they are logout we are simply switching towards our welcome screen so now let's click on the logout button and click on yes and here we go we are redirected towards our welcome screen now let's try to log in again click on google click on the email and it's loading and you can see we have successfully redirected towards the new screen so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new if you learn something new please like the video and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe more amazing videos are coming and if you have any question related to flutter you can ask me down below in the comments thank you for watching take care Allah Hafiz.